We are the Fat Guardians, and I am ACB the Man. I will never pay for a sharper run to the lighthouse. I may never make it there unless I am carried to the lighthouse. But I do not care if I never make it there as long as I do not pay for it. Recently, I have seen a surge in pay-to-carry advertisements on Twitter, Facebook, just all the social media that I'm following. Yes, you are guaranteed a lighthouse visit. Yes, you do not have to rely on a carry from a streamer, which you may never get a chance if you don't want to raffle. No, the people who charge for carries are not scumbags. Yes, they are taking something they do well and making a business out of it. I do not despise sites that do this. I think they're... For the really desperate to hit the lighthouse, it could be an option. For those who don't have friends to play with, it can be an option. But Destiny, to me, is about the experience of doing something for the first time. You get an emotional high from completing activities in this game. There's nothing better than completing something for the first time, especially the raids, especially in-game content. When you are carried, you do not complete things by yourself. But those streamers and people who carry for free are always very excited to see you get there. They are always happy to do it. They are always joyous alongside of you and they show that to their community. Those who charge to carry you to the lighthouse, they do not care. They may be excited, they may be happy for you, but they are a business. They are not evil and they have a right to do what they are good at to make some money. But they're not caring. They are just going to get you to the lighthouse, go to the next person, and get them to the lighthouse. Sometimes, you don't even have to do it yourself. Sometimes, it will take your character and take you there for you. There's even sites I've been to where you can pay like 10 extra dollars for them to take your character there, pick up the loot, and you just show up in orbit, and you're like, oh great, the loot. That just doesn't seem right to me. I cannot and I will not deprive myself of the joy to making it to the lighthouse by myself uh, by paying for it. Even if I get carried, I will have that joy. The end results of being paid, or paying for, excuse me, or being carried or getting yourself there are the same. You make it to the lighthouse, you get some grimoire, you get some really good loot. But I just want to remember going to the lighthouse as a struggle or as an experience from a carrier, from a streamer. I do not want that experience tainted because I paid $50. Now, if you're the kind of person who doesn't really care and just wants to get there and can't do it or doesn't have the time to, great, go ahead. Uh, these sites aren't bad. I mean, there's nothing evil on there. There's nothing bad on these sites saying that you suck and oh, give us money and all that kind of stuff. It's just, I do not see these sites as the way to go. And that's just me personally. I think you should get to the lighthouse and, and by your own means, finding a streamer, finding friends, if I cannot get to the lighthouse, it's going to suck. But at least I know that I haven't paid somebody to deprive me of that experience. I want to come back and I want to say that the, the sites that do this, and I'm not going to name any because I don't want people to think I'm ragging on them. The sites that do this, I don't think are bad. This is not a rant against those sites in particular. It's a rant against what those sites deprive you of. They will get you to the lighthouse. They are not going to be mean about it. But getting there by either being carried from a streamer or getting there by getting some friends and doing it or LFGing and getting lucky and doing it, to me, is so much better than just paying for it. Anyways, please like, comment, and share. Uh, click on the logo to subscribe and click on any of the videos for past content.